Religion has hypnotized the human race. We have been convinced we are lost sinners and in dire need of a savior. This fear-based trauma tactic has deceived humanity for centuries. It is imperative to explain the many forms religion manifests itself. Our hope is the insidious and conniving mindset of the Luciferian hypnosis will be recognized. This involves examining the origin of the number system. The creation of astrological, numerological and scientific formulae are based on the multiples of 10 and 12. We were introduced to these in grade school as the 10 times table and the 12 times table. When simplified, the number system is based on 1, 2 and 3. The number system manipulates one beam of light with a duality of two opposing characteristics, positive and negative, north and south, male and female. These characteristics along with others, form the duality of religion. A beam of light has three primary colors, red, yellow, blue, three primary shapes, a line, curve, angle, three primary parts to sound, volume, tone, rhythm. The system that manipulates energy can easily manipulate humanity when enough methods of seduction, or enough wires of thought, which is energy, are coiled around us, as in an electromagnetic field, are introduced. These systems are derived, similar to the basic religious trinity idea, see home page, from the manipulation of a beam of light. The single beam of light is highly symbolic and immensely powerful to the Luciferian egregore group mind. Notice that the illustration on the light beam chart depicts the atom symbol. The three primary colors overlap in the center forming a hexagon. The hexagon represents the light of the world and is seen as black. The black hexagon is the pupil of the eye, the all-seeing eye, the illuminated knowledge used to manipulate humanity. The hexagon is symbolically represented as black when considering subtractive color mixing. When considering additive color mixing the hexagon is white. This is the very nature of the duality-based Luciferian egregore thought process. The thought process creates the illusion of black and white, good and bad, and every opposing notion within the 3D plane. Here the color black symbolizes wisdom and truth. Applying the Luciferian mindset, which is the thought process, to undivided black light, creates a rainbow of divided light. Black light becomes divided light when the Luciferian entity manipulates light energy through the thought process and attaches any notion of form. Light energy is sexual generative energy. It requires the dual nature of the light and dark energy to intersect or to intercourse, producing the sect act, or the sex act, thereby procreating. Sexual energy is observed within the magnetic and electrical fields we experience in varying degrees in the 3D illusion. The ultimate sexual ecstasy is experienced when we are liberated from the Luciferian hypnotic trance state, and awareness of what's transpiring in the 3D realm, and for that matter, what the 3D realm actually is. Through sex we try achieve the ecstasy only awareness can provide. We attempt to reconnect and reclaim the original paradise state using an effective and efficient means of substitution within the sex act, that can achieve nothing more than physical gratification. Sexual gratification is delightful, and does not in any way impede the reconnection process to our original wisdom state. However, even though sex is a pleasure, it pales in comparison to the bliss of awareness of what is transpiring in this three-dimensional illusory state. The Luciferian thought process conjures up light. As individual thought characteristics are applied the whole black light becomes divided appearing to separate male and female. In other words, this illusion manifests as male and female, dividing and disconnecting us from awareness of our wisdom state. The original male-female oneness does not manifest in energy atoms. The original male-female knowing had no physical form or no physical atom energy. We were purely wisdom, we were, and still are, formless, and fully wise. However, the Luciferian mind conjured the human form and the human psyche, and use this illusion as the receiving dish for the thought patterns they wish to extend to us, manifesting as a three-dimensional reality, and in the process disconnecting who we really are, wisdom and formless, from our eternal paradise state. Keep in mind as you consider these words. There is no such thing as time, and this process is just occurring now, even as I write. It wasn't initiated centuries ago, or untold billions of years ago. It's occurring right now. Luciferian thinking entities cannot directly cause awareness to become unaware. They must first create the atom, the first atom and I, and thereafter create systems based on the atom, 
such as religion, science and magic. These manipulate humanity through a physical sexual experience, or an energy exchange, distracting our awareness from reality to the illusory images presented to us. This is the process called hypnosis. Hypnosis is simple misdirection of reality. This is why the world systems are based on sex ritualism and sexual innuendo, though very pleasant, they are very distracting and disconnect us from our eternal wisdom state if we allow our awareness of this Luciferian sex-driven thought process to destroy our connection to wisdom and reality. Paradise Lost For this reason humanity spends its physical life trying to reconnect to the awareness lost. We want to return to our original knowing state, but always seem to lose our way. We continue to lose our way until we become conscious that the Luciferian egregore, or the Creator God, is not a loving God, or a divine Creator, but deliberately aims to manipulate who we really are, and to destroy our connection to the eternal wisdom state. It is this eternal state, and awareness of this paradise state, that stands between absolute power and worship for the Luciferian entities, who can thereby fabricate an eternal state of subservience in turn directing all the power of the eternal state unto themselves. Trying to reconnect to our awareness may take on different forms of sexual orientation, or an active sex life. There is, with sex, no such thing as sin, therefore no right or wrong sexual orientation. The sin concept is derived from manipulating the light, and when the light is divided all sorts of legalism concerning right and wrong is suggested and attached to the limitless colors, shapes and sounds. In our original state of awareness, there is no light or energy. There is no spirit and no soul. Each man and woman, is without form, without division, and are not man and woman. This differs from the 3D state in that there are no physical forms to deceive, causing the ecstasy to end. Simply put, we are complete in awareness in the wisdom state, and the ecstasy of being one in union is constant and eternal. There is no division, no individuality no male or female in the paradise state. We are not we, which denotes individuals, or division, but we are wisdom and the ultimate state of being, and we are that wisdom already. We just have to reconnect to who we already are. Spirit equals spirit equals spirit equals arrows equals eros equals penis I. Soul equals soul equals sun. The subliminals in these two words alone, will be used repeatedly throughout the implementation of the Luciferian agenda, as it unfolds towards its hoped for goal of total control. Imagine that. When light is divided into the three primary colors, the three basic shapes and the three simple parts of sound, it becomes integrated with a thought form. The shape imagined in the thought process then appears to be solid. In reality the shape is only divided light with the egregore thought form attached. This process describes the origin of the all-seeing eye symbol used throughout history by the Luciferian mind. The eye, or eye, is the ancient symbol of all religion as evident in Babylon, Egypt, Phoenicia, and in modern times observed in Catholicism, Freemasonry, Jehovah's Witnesses, Mormonism, Evangelicalism, Protestantism and so on. However, the most manipulative religion is, without a doubt, science. It is based upon the atom or Adam, the oldest sex ritual symbol in the world, and is the source of the six-pointed star. Science as religion is based on the Adam, which in turn is the symbol of energy, sex, regeneration and divided light. Albert Einstein was an acclaimed genius, an incredible scientist, theorist, and a believer in God. Being of Jewish heritage, he had an edge in understanding how energy can be manipulated. Despite this, Einstein comes up short in wisdom. He accelerated scientific thought in the 20th century, allowing the world to succumb to even more of the Luciferian mindset. The 20th century was significant because, like the number 8, the number 20 is associated with total control. See the clock face charts below and 20 coincides with 8 on the second clock face. During the 20th century the New World Order was actually realized or was arranged in such a fashion as to allow for the events we've witnessed since the World Trade Center attack of 9-11. The New World Order, which is a more contemporary title for the Messianic Kingdom of God on Earth, conspires to completely annihilate our awareness through the Luciferian thought process. Albert Einstein worked intimately with the atom and energy. This symbol is the all-seeing eye, the symbol of sun god worship throughout the ages. 
Let's have a look at the word I as it relates to Einstein. Einstein equals I in street I in equals I in Saint I in. Albert equals L the father of all gods, Bert B beta the fertility letter, relating to both birth and death, or life and death, as they are inseparable, and T is the sacrifice cross, the sun god of ancient Babylon and in turn symbolizes the cross of sun and light worship. This is all subliminal suggestion. The name, Albert Einstein, relates to, and supports the activities of this scientific genius. Without the strong hypnotic suggestion locked within the name, the control over the word's consciousness would have been weakened. This all-seeing eye shows up in all religion in one way or another, as the eye symbol, the eternal flame, representing light or illumination of knowledge as the sun or any spin-off symbol representing rays from the sun as seen in the Christian cross with or without the circle representing the sun's rays and sphere. This is the source of one common name for the sun god Ra, or Ray. The black pupil of the eye is also the word for a student who is studying a particular craft, trade or expertise. The student is referred to as a pupil. The pupil is gathering knowledge, which is synonymous with light according to the Luciferian thought process. The knowledge of the craft is symbolized by the dark hexagon pupil of the all-seeing eye, which in turn represents the Luciferian mindset. Intellectualism is indoctrination in the spirit of sun worship. As mentioned before, the spirit and the sun, or soul, are illusions. In spite of these illusory concepts intellectualism has become commonplace in our modern world, and it is all but impossible to think of it as anything but normal. However, the world societies have drifted into the clutches of this mind trap, carrying our connection to reality with it, and as a result we now face the spectacle of immense destructive Luciferian events, foretold for thousands of illusory years. We now face the contrived judgment of God. These events are unfolding today, and will continue to unfold at an accelerated pace until the Luciferian scenario is complete and the so-called judgment of God has gone about its business of creating a massive manipulative ploy, to herd any hint of reality we might have left, into a pit of lunacy. In the following pages, this lunacy will be demonstrated to be the environmental green movement, the global warming fiasco, the war on terrorism and the fabricated world financial crisis, among a host of other topics. The events were programmed to happen at this illusory point in time after the complete manipulation of humanity had been achieved. It wouldn't have mattered who populated the world in these days, as no group of humanity would be any more chosen or condemned than any other group. However, this egregore group of entities will attempt to convince us that it has wiped corruption and heresy from the globe. The colors within the dark hexagon pupil represent the colors seen in the iris of a human eye. This name iris is derived from the Egyptian sun god Osiris and is the root word for symbolically establishing the thought of the Christ, the Sun God, rising from the dead, Christ being the light shown in the iris colors, and death being the black pupil. Let's have a look at this word Osiris. Osiris equals O, S, I, Ris. O equals the symbol of the all-seeing eye. S equals the symbol of the serpent prince, or the heavenly queen. I equals the symbol of the all-seeing eye as the one supreme God. Res equals to rise. Osiris equals Osiris equals the wizard of Os rises as a 3D illusory plane. This is subliminal messaging. Subliminals are all around us and lock us into a state of hypnosis almost impossible to escape. This is the foundation of the order of the rose, Christ rising, or the Christ who rose, from the dead, and the order of death. Suggesting there can be no resurrection unto eternal life without death, as symbolized by the black pupil. Osiris was the Egyptian sun god of life, death and fertility. He was the father of Horus, the rising sun god, the supposed savior of the world. Horus is where we obtain the word horizon, and the name of the state of Arizona in the USA. However, Osiris also had the title of redeemer and judge, just as Jehovah does in Christianity. Jesus is synonymous with Horus. Jesus is the son of Mary and Jehovah, just as Horus was the son of Osiris and Isis. The same fucking story. This same story, the father God having sex with an earthly woman, immaculately, of course, is repeated over and over throughout history. The Mary and Jesus story was about one out of fifty Christ Savior myths, and probably many more of lesser fame, all of whom were born on December 25th. 
This is all based on corruption. This isn't sinful, because sin doesn't exist. However, all knowledge is corrupting and hinders our awareness, if we let it. We then become saturated in the knowledge of this dark hexagon pupil of deceit with the ultimate hex of the hypnotic thought process placed upon the people of the world. Consider the chart below and the origin of the all-seeing eye. Keeping in mind, that the word all equals owl, and is the inspiration for the owl symbolism, and the wise old owl adage, used in society. Even the religion known as atheism boasts the atom symbol, which is the all-seeing eye, as their logo. In the trance state of this three-dimensional plane, the deeper one is indoctrinated in the belief that science actually has some validity, or reality, the greater is the disconnection from wisdom and the original state of being. Atheists will argue vehemently that science, which is seance, proves there is no God, which of course there isn't. However, they will continue to trust in the knowledge offered up through scientific research which is based on the foundation of the electron, proton and neutron which is the trinity of the Godhead. The United States of America was founded by the Illuminati, the most pervasive secret society in the world. They designed the back of their $1 bill with the all-seeing eye above the 13-tiered pyramid. Many will deny the Freemason influence on the currency design. Many even deny Freemasonic influence in the design and direction of the United States as a country. So be it. Suffice to say, Freemasonry or secret societies of any stripe, are still the driving force behind every structure of government throughout the world. Freemasonic influence and world manipulation is basically a smokescreen tactic used by the Luciferian Egregore, used to call the dogs off if anyone gets too close to reality and the truth. The U.S. boasts that it's founded on Christian principles. However, the actions of this so-called Christian nation, against their own people and those of other nations, Let's it be known what the Christ of Christianity truly is. So, what purpose is there for this Luciferian symbol, the all-seeing eye in the pyramid? This eye is called the Eye of Horus, the sun god of Egypt, who was born to die for the sins of the world. Sounds kind of Jesus-like. This eye is also called the Eye of Lucifer, the light bringer. Light initiates corruption and is the corrupter of this world. The very nature of light, which manifests as the three-dimensional reality is completely an illusion saturated entirely in corruptibility. Both these symbols, the eye and the pyramid, come from the triangle created by connecting the three primary colors from the color wheel and manipulating them as shown in the all-seeing eye diagram above. To be continued.